Circuitech. This particular video is for the demonstration of the Monroe related to static arcing speed meter. This particular model is a PAC. The instrument is meant for measuring static charges on all kinds of insulator bodies. Further, this particular instrument is also intrinsically safe, approved for hazardous location. The instrument conforms to all the internationally accepted ESD standards for measuring static charge on insulative objects. It also conforms to the standards which certify an instrument as being intrinsically safe or explosion proof. So you will be able to make measurements with this instrument in all kinds of hazardous locations. Uh, let me just show you the basic controls on the instrument. So you have just three buttons on here. One is the on button. The other is the hold or the off button. You can either turn off the instrument or in case you have a rapidly fluctuating reading, you can just hold the button for just holding down the reading until you can see clearly on the screen. Finally, you have a grounding. This is in case if you have a small offset in your readings, like the two or three volts that you can see here on the display, you can always connect the instrument to ground to make sure that it comes to absolute zero for a perfect reading. You can also see that there are two glowing lights here on this side of the instrument. These guiding lights are basically made for helping you choose the correct distance for making a measurement. Let me take a small object and point the instrument at that particular surface. You will probably see the red lights here on this particular surface. And on these lights you can see that they bounce around a bit or they tend to stay a little stationary. The exact distance at which you tend to get a stationary movement for the lights without appearing too dim or too bright is the correct distance for taking the measurement. I hope that this is clear from the video. Now, I'll show you two objects on which you can take the measurement of static charge. This is an ordinary pen made of plastic. As you know, when plastic is rubbed against each other on another insulator, it tends to develop a static charge. Here in this particular case, all I'm going to do is rub this particular pen against my hair to generate some friction, get some static charge. Now on the reading, you will be able to see that the instrument has gone up to 1 kilo volt or around 990 volts. This is the approximate amount of static charge. Again, I remove the pen, there's no reading. I rub it again on my hair and I bring it back. You should be able to see the static charge. It's around 1.5 kV now, around 1500 volts of static charge. Another example is this polyethylene bag. You can see there's no reading on the instrument at this particular point, but when I point it at this cover, you can already see around 3000 volts or 2.9 kilovolts of static charge on this polyethylene bag. So that's the basic functionality of the instrument. As you can see, it has all the certifications which are required for using in hazardous locations. This is a very simple point and measure kind of instrument. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.